Hello, uh, I'm going to present a video on intuitive reinforcement learning. My name is Yusuf. Here you see the outlines. We start by introduction and continue with Markov property, Bellman equation, exploration versus exploitation, discount factor, MDP, reward shaping, and temporal difference. Okay, introduction. Here you see the picture of Richard Sutton uh, that developed uh, reinforcement learning uh, algorithm. Uh, as you can see here, he received a bachelor degree in psychology from Stanford University and a master and PhD in computer science. The point is that Richard Sutton has a bachelor degree in psychology and also Jeffrey Hinton, the godfather of AI, also a study about psychology and cognitive function. Both of these guys uh, uh, apply the idea of the psychology and life uh, to computer science and develop deep learning algorithms reinforcement learning algorithm and deep reinforcement uh, learning algorithm. The point that I want to highlight is that if we want to better understand deep learning, deep reinforcement learning, we need to have an intuitive approach to them. We need uh, to adjust this problem to a real life scenario to better understand them and better grasp them. Uh, in my personal view, this is uh, very critical for a deep understanding of uh, reinforcement learning. For example, to my understanding, reinforcement learning is the idea of the growing a child. The child interacts with the environment, receives feedback from the environment. The child has a critic, for example, his or, uh, for example, his mother uh, provides feedback uh, to him and uh, try to make his action better over time. Uh, and this child over uh, time develops his cognitive function and find a but better policies for uh, dealing with, with the real life scenario. Okay, for example, when this child uh, considered the objective uh, in the path that he's growing, um, we can say that think of this objective as a value function. Okay, uh, the child sets a target and uh, goes through a path to reach to this target. This is the same as the idea of the value function, okay? Uh, or the child may optimize uh, his decision-making uh, capability and try to take uh, a small step toward his goal. That is the idea of the policy-based uh, reinforcement learning. Okay, let's start with Markov property. As you can see here, Markov property states that the future state depends only to the current state and action. Okay, uh, and the future. Uh, okay, I repeat, the future state depends only the current state and action, not on the sequence of events that preceded. Okay, the intuition is that you imagine a game of chess. The next move only depends on the current configuration of the board. The next move only depend on the current configuration of the board and the move you decide to make, okay? The next move is only a function of these two, current configuration and the next, and the move you decide to make. It doesn't matter how the piece, how the, how the piece got to, to the current position. The previous history, it is not important for us. But why this is significant? Because this uh, simplifies the complexity of the decision-making process because you only need to consider the current state and not the 
entire history. I would say, based on my personal experience, this mark of property may not hold in a real world scenario, but still you can uh, formulate your problem using mark of position problem and apply reinforcement learning. Bellman equation. Bellman equation. What is the uh, what is the explanation? Help to break down complex decision problem into simpler recursive relationship. Okay. Uh, break down the complex decision problem into simpler recursive relations. What is the intuition? Uh, suppose you want to plan a road trip. Instead of uh, Figuring out the entire road at once, you decide the next, the best next stop from your current location. Instead of uh, planning for the entire path uh, in the beginning, you just decide about your next stop from your current location, and this simplify uh, the problem and divide uh, the problem into a smaller part. The, the Bellman equation. Uh, actually break the value of a state into immediate reward and uh, plus two future reward. It decomposes the problem into two parts, immediate reward and future reward. What is the significant? Understanding and applying Bellman equation is crucial for solving Markov decision process. Okay, tip three, exploration versus exploitation. Let refer to the example that I just mentioned in the introduction of in this video. A child is growing. This child in the beginning is a bit crazy and ha has too much uh, interaction with the environment and the rate of exploration is very high. As time passes, this child shapes some understanding, cognitive capabilities, shape a policy, uh, and shape a knowledge for himself and then uh, start exploiting this knowledge. As time passes, this knowledge increases and the rate of exploitation increases and the rate of exploration comes down. Okay, same we have in the reinforcement learning. In the beginning of the uh, optimization, the rate of exploration is high. As time passes, uh, the rate of uh, exploration comes down and the rate of exploitation increases. Okay, discount factor. The discount factor gamma determines how much future reward or value compared to the immediate reward. In simple language, discount factor means how much we pay attention to future reward in comparison to the immediate reward. Okay, think of saving money. If you value future financial stability, it means gamma uh, discount factor is high. You save more money, uh, you save more today. If you prioritize immediate satisfaction, low gamma, you spend more No, When gamma is close to Zero, we only pay attention to immediate reward, and when gamma is close to one, future reward, uh, we pay attention to the uh, future reward. And this uh, shape one of the key advantage of the reinforcement learning that is having a long-term goal. Okay, significant setting the right discount factor is crucial for the agent to balance short-term and long-term reward effectively actually this pay attention uh, to the future reward and having long term goal it is the feature that distinguish uh, reinforcement learning from optimal control theory okay solving mdp when we have a large state and action space solving mdp mark of decision process is computationally demanding okay uh, imagine you are trying to solve a jigsaw puzzle with dozens of pieces. It requires patience and computational resources. Uh, which algorithm can help in this scenario? We can use deep reinforcement learning that use neural network as a function approximator to handle large state and action space. 
reward shaping here. Reward can be shaped. What is reward shaping? The basic idea of the reward shaping is a way to incorporate per your knowledge into the original reward function in order to speed up the learning. We inject per your knowledge to the defined reward function to speed up the learning process. Suppose our original goal is to teach, uh, you want to teach, teach your child to clean the, the room completely, okay? And when your child is cleaning the room, you inject your pair, your knowledge, your experience uh, about cleaning the room to this child to help him to uh, speed up uh, the learning and better, uh, the com better uh, clean the room and finish the process. Okay, what is the significance? Properly shaped reward can speed up learning and lead to more efficient and effective policy. Okay, temporal difference. Temporal difference is used for predicting the value of a state in Markov decision process. Think of uh, predicting the weather. You update your prediction based on the difference between your forecast and the actual weather observed the next day. You compare two things, the forecast and the actual weather observed the next day. You just compare the, the next state with the previous state. You just compare two states with each other in temporal difference, and we are using partial information. Temporal difference learning allows the agent to learn from partial information, make it exploitable for real-time application. Thank you very much. If you learned something from this video, I appreciate to like and subscribe.